Okay, so today I'm going to help you solve and explain another algorithm question using JavaScript. So here, let's take a look at the let's take a look at the, the question. So you're giving a string, any type of string. Let's say this this is an example of one that I have already. The goal is find. Let me make it bigger so you can see. Find the character that appears the most, and also how many times does it appear? So that's the question. Find the character that appears the most, and also how many times does it does the character appear? Let me write it out. Find the character that uh, that appears the most, appears the most, and total total number of times, total number of times it appears. All right, perfect. So here's just an example of two strings that I have. Whatever. Okay, so given that this is the question, let me show you my thought process in a way, the algorithm that I think is best. You, you, you would always impress your interviewer if you can show your steps. So let's say we have a given string. This is, I mean, you have a given string. Obviously, by looking at this, you can count it. L, the letter L, the character L is the one that appears the most. So first thing first, you want to generate key value pair. That's that's the approach I want to take. I'm going to generate a key value pair. In doing so, this is how I'm going to do it. Let me show you. Hopefully, you can see this. This is this is how I'm going to generate the key value pair. I'll make this bigger. Increase the font size. Okay, I'm going to create an object. Then I'm going to then I'm going to check if each character in this string if it exists in this object. If it does exist in the object, obviously it doesn't from the start. But if it does exist, I mean, if it does not exist, I'm going to set its uh, its value to 1. It, however, if it does exist, I'm going to increment that value by 1. So th this is an example right here below. I showed you here is an example of how I plan for it to look like. And you, you can clearly see that L appears in most 3. So, and how am I going to do this? I'm going to, so now once I have this object, then I'm going to loop through this object using a for in. Here I'm going to use a uh, here I'm going to use um, a for of loop, and here I'm going to use a for in loop, where I'm going to loop um, go through each one, and then find out which value is the highest. Take the character of that value and store it somewhere. So let me show you. So let me basically show you how this code would would seem out. Okay, let me just erase the question since we know the question that we're trying to solve now. Alright, first thing first. Uh, let's see, const max character. It takes, it takes a string, I'm using ES6 syntax. You know, you can show off the interviewer. Alright, so what's the first thing I want to do? I want to gener uh, generate a key value pair. How am I going to do that? I'm going to create an object. So I'm going to create an object, let object, empty object. So the object is going to constantly change. So hence, I'm not, that, this is the reason why it's not a constant. I'm using let, because the object is going to constantly change. So it's going to change throughout the program, inside the code, locally. Now, once I have that, it says, if the character of the string does not exist in the object, Set it set its value to one. If it does, do an increment. So let's let's um, let's do that. So I'm gonna create a do a for of loop. Show you what a for of loop is. For let character of the string. So the character of the string. I'm saying let the character of the string. So I'm gonna go through each character of the string. And, and now I'm gonna ask myself a question. I'm gonna do a uh, the one liner loop. Mm. It said the one line will loop loop like it doesn't have a name. Just I I can't think of the name right now. Uh, so I'm gonna say if basically I'm doing an if else statement, just one line. So I'm saying if um if the object of the ca character does not exist. So if the object of the character does not exist, as this says, it says if the character of the string does not exist, an object set its value to one. So I'm gonna set its value to one. So if this does, if this does not exist, set its value to one. So I'm gonna say 
object character set value to one. If it does exist, however, I'm going to increment the value. Okay, and that's that. So I've done that part. Next, I'm right now when this loop goes, when this loop is done, I'm going to have something that looks like this. I'm going to have something that looks like this. We can actually test it out. Let's see if we can test it out. Let's if I continue with my code. Let's test this out. Console dot log object. Let's print out the object. Let's see how this looks. Node instance of node test. Oh, that's because I'm not calling this. How smart of me. I leave too much. I like leaving spaces just so I can see my code cleaner. But okay, so let's see. Max character. I'm I'm gonna call it now. I'm gonna pass in this string that we used over here. Actually, no. Let's let's copy this one so we can see it match that exactly. Okay. So let's see. Okay, beautiful. Three appears one time, H one time, E one time, L three times, O two times, the pound two times, and the P one time. Exactly. So you, let me copy it so you can see what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. As you can see, it matches that. So this is beautiful. Okay, so let's move on. So, let me just clear uh, that. All right, so we have our we have our object set. Next thing I want to do now is I want to find the maximum, as it says here. Look through the values of the object to see which one has the highest value. So I'm going to look through this. Okay, so. Uh, since since my goal is to find the maximum value, I'm gonna create a, a max max num max number whatever. Set it to a very small number zero, and I'm gonna create a max a max character maximum maximum character. Make it a string. Now I'm gonna do a for off loop. Say for let character, I mean for in, I'm sorry, let character in object, not string this time, object. Then, then I'm going to ask the question if object character, if its value is greater or equal than maximum number. Then set max number, set max number to it, and then set maximum character to just the character. And that's it. It should be the same thing. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, she should still work. Let's print this out. This is the code. Let's show you again. Okay, let's print it out. Console dot log. We can say um, we can say let's use ES six style of printing. Uh, string literals. We can say. Um, Maximum character appears maximum number of amount of times. Maximum times. So let's see. So I'm I'm expecting this to say the character L appears 
three times. I'm still going to have to say L appears three times. So let's try this. Node test. Okay, what have I done wrong? Assignment to constant variable. Oh, 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 yes. Max number cannot be const. Because it's, I'm changing it again. Remember, const means you're not changing it. I accidentally left this as const. It should be let. Constants, you're changing the variable in the code. I am not. I'm, I mean, const means you're not changing a letters. You're changing it. So I am changing it locally. So that's why. That's good error. That's a good error. Beautiful. L appears three times. Let me copy my code so you can see the result that I got. Right here, this is the answer. L appeared three times. That's what I got. Change it around. Let's remove the L. Let's remove all of this. Let's put for WW, W, R, T. So we know it's W. I'm just spreading it out. Underscore, space. Let's see. W appears three times. Beautiful. Now, I haven't tried this for space. Space is a character. It might not work. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually curious. So the W works, by the way. This is, a, this is a good algorithm. It works. Let me show you. This, this is what I got. Now, what about if we have more spaces, empty white spaces? Is it going to work? Let's see. I'm actually, I'm actually, extreme, I'm, I'm curious. I didn't try this. So there's four spaces. One, two, three, four. Let's make it five. Let's see. Yes, it works. Empty space appears five times. This is what I got. Empty space appears five times. Beautiful. This is really good. Really, really good. I'm actually excited. This, this works. Take a look at my code again. If you have any comment, let me know. Thank you.